think about um, letting go. So letting go, if, if we want to simplify it, letting go is not getting rid of. It is let be, as simple as that. Let things be. And the other simple meaning for letting go is stop control. It's the perfect word that we all, I'm sure we all understand it. And we all do it day in, day out in our lives. And sometimes we deny it so hard. If someone tells you you are a controller, we want to kill them. No, I'm not a controller. But most of us are controllers. And I am a controller. And that's why I never understood the meaning of letting be, uh, let, uh, letting go. I never understood letting go because I was just busy controlling. And this brings me to the title, why did I call it the year of letting go? Because definitely this year is a year that if I hadn't understood the meaning of letting go all these years, this year brought me to a very humble place of understanding what it means to let go. And here where I'm, I would love to invite you to come on this journey that I'm taking you on for half an hour or so, and just embark on this positive way of looking at this year. This, uh, to, to, to have this, look, uh, uh, this view of this year as being a year of grace. Looking at it as a grace period, actually. Uh, going on this journey to uh, ch challenge our beliefs, uh, challenge the way we think, Challenge the way we think normal is. What is norm? What is the norm for everyone? We were challenged a lot in this year, uh, in this uh, area. Uh, I also invite you to, as if I'm inviting you to come into this room in my head, where I had the longest time to think of this, the things I'm gonna talk about. It's like uh, allowing ourselves to just feel free to think about this year in a different way than the way that the, you know, mass media, the the, every, the our conditioned belief, our way, old way of thinking, our our uh, old conditioning, يعني يفرض علينا أو يحتم علينا شلون نفكر في هالفترة. Okay, أبي نفكر غير عن كل الناس شلون فكروا. ويمكن أكثرنا فكر بهالطريقة. Maybe most of us they thought of a very positive way. Maybe you saw all the graces. I don't think I'm saying something new actually. I'm just trying to see things in a different perspective than what has been repeated every single day on us. Uh, so I hope this journey will take you to the place I hope that we reach at the end of this uh, talk. So going back to letting go and this year being the year of letting go, the first thing that happened in this year that's so obvious everyone knows and everyone sees is detachment. We were all detached. Detached from everything we used to know, the norm. We were detached from being, uh, uh, from um, uh, living our lives the way we used to live it. So um, work is not the same anymore. People work from their houses, most of them. School is not the same anymore. Children were studying from their houses again online. Uh, our routine, every day, daily routine is not the same. The people we see are not the same. The people we mingle with is not the same. Uh, we don't live life uh, according to our old way of living. It's, we detached from everything. We detached forcefully, whether we liked it or not. We were like literally pulled away from everything we recognize and we know. And this detachment, now throughout this talk, what I'm gonna do is just see the thing that happened in this year, where we were challenged in it, and what is the grace. So just to make it clear in everyone's mind now, this is the, the process I'm going through. It's what was the, the the thing, the ta'ir, the change that happened, and how did it challenge us? Where was the challenge? And the grace that we can find in it. I'm, I'm the person who believes that in every situation, in every 
والانسان اللي يقدر يلاقي اللطف في المصايب اللي تصيبه في حياته او تصيده في حياته هو الانسان اللي راح يستفيد ان ويوظف هالاشياء في صالحه. So you really put this in your own uh, it makes you make the, these situations serve you rather than work against you. So as I said, the first thing that happened, we detached. We detached from everything we know, from everything we love, from everything we uh, we are used to. And this detachment created a challenge. It challenged, the, challenged us in so many areas. The biggest was our beliefs. Our belief about work, our belief about hard, um, hard work, earning money, um, our belief about uh, socializing, our belief about safety and protecting ourselves, our belief of what, what are our pr- priorities. It challenged all our beliefs in, in so many areas. And this challenge, it came with a grace. That grace was to really have a chance to uh, uh, re- reinvent that belief, reinvent our beliefs and choose what suits us most. This is one of the ways I see this year. It's, it, it just allowed me to see things in a different perspective. My husband always says this and it's such a cute thing. I always remember it. When I'm stuck, he will always tell me, look, be, look around the corner. You are in a corner, but there is something around the corner. And I never, and I really never think of, when you are stuck, you just see what you see. It's like this tunnel vi- vision. You, you can't see anything else. And sometimes in the middle of the most hardship, the most difficult situation is the time when you should see around the corner. And so this, is, this detachment, the, cha- the grace in it was, we detached from everything that kept us away from the most important things in our lives, like our families, like our children, like the closest loved ones to us. Other people, maybe they were stranded in countries that they were alone. They, they didn't have their children with them. They didn't have their families. They didn't have anyone. Actually, they were totally alone. Trust that that was the best for them at that time. Even those people can find grace in their lo- in solitude and in their loneliness. In, in their being alone, sorry. And, and, and this is where sometimes it's that detachment from this whole social great life, especially here in Bahrain. We have a great life, you know, very, very, very bubbly kind of social life. And for people to just detach from that wasn't easy. But it made us see the people that are most important to us. We had more time with them. We had more... Um, we understood each other. Actually, it, it's been such a long time that we couldn't understand the, the people that are closest to us. And we had enough quality time with them that really is all we needed. We used to have to think of breaks and, you know, to take break from work or from whatever it is just to be with, to have family time. In this year, we had the longest family time ever, ever. And this is one of the graces that I really, really thank God for. And I see it so clearly. The other concept that I would like to also, or the, it's one of the things that came to, to my mind when I'm thinking of this year as the year of letting go, is the concept of being alone or lonely. And again, I know many people understand what's the difference between lonely and alone. But to those who really, it's it's new for them, it's two different meaning, meanings. Both of them are st- a state that a person in alone is a physical state and lonely is a psychological state so when you're alone it means there's you're alone there's no one with you you're just by yourself when you're lonely you can be with many people you can be surrounded with a whole party even and you will still feel lonely I think this period of time made us really realize the difference between these two words and differentiate between alone and lonely. Although we were all alone within our houses, within within our homes, but I doubt we felt lonely. And if you did feel lonely, reflect on that. Why did you feel lonely? Where is this loneliness coming from? Again, I want to remind you, in this talk, I'm not trying to give you answers, and I'm not trying to uh, 
uh, make this seem like it's I, I I found the treasure of all treasures. No, it's just me reflecting on my own life in this year and just sharing it with you all, and maybe hoping that that some of you or all of you hopefully can find the graces that I found or even more. So again, lonely and alone. If for people who felt lonely. Where does this loneliness come from? Reflect on that. Try to explore that feeling because it has nothing to do with the situation we are in. I was not, I was uh, not supposed to even bring the word Corona, but maybe we have to say it once or twice. So, <laughs> so really, is it, is it Corona or is it? us and we needed that time to take that break to think of us we were forced to just go back to ourselves and then again the lonely the the grace in being alone and lonely what is it exactly what was the grace the grace was really reflecting again it's reflecting reflecting on things that we used to never do like reflecting on your inner self the things you need, the things you don't like, the things you like. Your beliefs, that again, a very big thing. What are really your beliefs? Is it time to change these beliefs? Is it time to really uh, explore these beliefs and see what doesn't work for you anymore and just let go of them? And find maybe others that really work for you? And reflection also, if we want to go into the, because I can't do it without going into the psychological part, the, the side of everything. You know, this chance that we were given to reflect because we were left al alone and, and we had a lot of time to really think of so many things. And we were pushed inward, literally, literally as the word uh, means. We were all outside and then we were pushed into our houses, into our homes. And really the home that I mean is yourself, that inner home, to reflect really on you and what you need and what, what is, how do you go from here? How do you make this work for you? And again, in, as I said, in psycho psychology, self-reflection is a very important process because self-reflection